Aside from the regular fittings that you can use with polyethylene pipe, there's also a type of fitting called a saddle tap. And this is used by people that like to put the pipe all the way in first and then dig back up the head locations and slip this thing around the pipe, pierce it, and then fix themselves a head location. I'm going to show you real quickly how this works. Now, one of the problems with doing this is the way that this thing pierces the pipe. Now, there's a, if you can tell here, there's a hole that the water goes up and goes through this piece here. This is a two-piece unit. Now, when this thing pierces, it's designed to push the plastic back out of the way so that water can get up through this and out into the fitting. And this is a little bit older version of a blazing saddle. And the way they come nowadays is they have a little black O-ring right here that helps seal up the fitting between here and where it enters the pipe. So what this is, it has a little clamp on the back, and this is a three-quarter inch blazing saddle with a three-quarter inch piece of polyethylene. So the way that you do it is you just fit it down around the pipe and clamp it. There is a, a bottom clamp there, and what we do is take this second piece and thread it right down in here until it starts to pierce. And it'll pierce this plastic and you just drive it on down in here until it seats. And then you'll be able to see, I'm going to show you a picture right here of it close up. As you can look down in there, you see that the way it's pushed this plastic back may possibly interfere a little bit with the water that's going up through the fitting. So what we generally do when we use them, and it's not very often in my business that we use these saddle taps, but I use just some type of hole punch to pre-pop a hole into the pipe and if you're doing this a lot, they have hand clamp style hole piercers for this, for poly, and are generally designed for people that do a lot of drip irrigation or they work with these all the time. It's easier to go ahead and pop a hole with a hand clamp than it is one of these push pin style hole piercers. But um, then you'll get a much cleaner hole down here, if you pre-pop a hole into it, it helps it push it back away rather than kind of peeling it back, which may interfere with the way that the water enters this. But you notice that we're left with a, um, a half inch barb. So if this is down in the ground, we can dig up a little small hole, fit this around, pierce it on, and then we use our half inch to put on it and then we're off and run into a head location. So we can put this either directly above it or we can go off to the side whichever direction that we want because of the flexibility of this pipe. So these saddle taps can be a real time saver and one would think that they'd be quite expensive being what they are but this is about a I think a dollar seventy for this fitting and um, if you use a, a regular poly fitting here, a plastic piece that's comparable to this. It's about 97 cents, I believe, the last time I bought one. So it's not that cheaper to go with the older style, but then if you deal with the clamps and everything else that goes with it, it's probably about the same price as a saddle tap. So you can make your choice about the, which way that you want to go. But a lot of times it really depends on the installation style. If you're installing a polyethylene system in open trenches and you're just rolling the pipe out and then just going through and cutting it and doing what you need to do, then I would just use the regular fittings. It's easier to handle. But the one thing to point out is this style of saddle tap comes in versions for PVC. And actually the one I've got in my hand here is an actual PVC one and not a polyethylene. We're just doing a demonstration here. So once you get it to snap on there, then it's basically the same thing. You want to just, you know, pierce the pipe here and it'll go down in there and pierce into that PVC. And it's basically the same situation. So we've got two different styles of saddle tap that'll work with PVC, but this is the style of a saddle tap that we're going to use with polyethylene.